Women's Champion. One title change tonight. Does that bode well for Wade Barrett? I guess we'll find out. Not now, though, because we have this, the battle of the returning veterans, Kurt Angle and the Ultimo Dragon. Veterans and legends in their own right, even. Kurt Angle has won so many world titles, and he's just good at what he does. Former Olympian, of course, Ultimo Dragon. How can you not remember some of his performances from WCW? Unless you're me and did not get the privilege to watch the old WCW, then you don't know much about Ultimo Dragon. But at least I do know that he had a short run in the WWE. Didn't really pick up any championships, but he is a former Cruiserweight champion and television champion for WCW. Anyway, here comes Kurt Angle. I don't know, Kurt Angle and Ultimo Dragon. It was kind of funny, they almost started hating each other. Kurt Angle outright interrupting the return of the Ultimo Dragon a couple weeks ago on Superstars. But Kurt Angle insisted it was just because he wanted to make sure he got the first match back against Ultimo Dragon. I mean, I guess Ultimo Dragon and Kurt Angle, they've technically competed already. Ultimo Dragon defeating... Oh, crap. Ultimo Dragon defeating um, Damien Sandow in record time in the Beat the Clock Challenge. Ultimo Dragon and Kurt Angle just kind of wanted to have a, uh, a small one-upsmanship on each other. And Ultimo Dragon won the Beat the Clock Challenge, but Kurt Angle also with a definitive victory against The Miz as well. Angle was bloodied in that match, so I don't know. You almost wonder, is Kurt Angle somehow more rusty than the Ultimo Dragon? But in due time, we shall find out. In due time. By which I mean whenever this loads, because created wrestlers always take a long time to load in these things. So we'll stare at this lovely black screen for a minute here. Oh, no, here it comes. All right. The Ultimo Dragon. You might also remember Ricky the Steamboat used, uh, used this entrance theme when he came back in 2009 in the WWE, so we're not, uh, you know, if you kind of, if you can't, if you have that inkling, where have I heard this music uh, before? Maybe that's it. But Ultimo Dragon did use it in 2003, 2004. At least I'm almost certain he did. One would think I could, you know what he did? I did look this up, didn't I? Yeah, I'd be 99% sure I've already looked this up. So, oh man, here we go, the Azai DDT versus the Angle Slam. Ultimo Dragon, though, he's got some submissions in his, his palettes of deadly maneuvers. Everyone's got deadly maneuvers. I just say deadly maneuvers for everything. I don't know. There's Dolph Ziggler. He's had some bad luck this month. But anyway, Kurt Angle could snap in that patent and ankle lock at any moment. Who's going to win? Let's find out. Kind of a slow start here. I guess they're feeling each other out. Kurt Angle, though. Oh, I was, I was going to say, is he going for the Angle Slam already? But I guess not. He just looked like it. All right, Ultimo Dragon blocks the right hand by Angle. Breaks his arm. Let's see. Oh, nice stiff kick there. Punches the arm, maybe weakening the grip of either the Angle Slam or the Ankle Lock. Oh, Kurt Angle just sweeps the leg, though. Hits the elbow drop that Seth Rollins was so desperately trying to hit earlier. And now Kurt Angle brings him into the belly of the belly. If anyone's going to hit you with a suplex, it's this man, Kurt Angle. Ultimo Dragon now. They still seem a bit slower, slower than usual. If this could be a strategic encounter for both men. Ultimo Dragon doing a good job of building back up some momentum now. Kind of coming back after that initial belly to belly. Drags Angle back to his feet. Oh, but Kurt Angle with a counter into the corner. Oh, almost runs down Charles Robinson at the same time. Ultimo Dragon springboard. Oh, Kurt Angle chops him down. There we go. Kind of a pace increaser there. And now Kurt Angle hooks the arm. Kurt Angle's just going to do the damage to all the parts of the opponent's body and then pick the submission move of his choice that could possibly make them tap out. Ultimo Dragon, though, counters with the shoulder thrust. Oh, goes for the rolling senton, misses. Oh, hits the Hurricanrana, though. We saw plenty of Hurricanranas from our lovely Divas just minutes ago. Victoria becoming the new women's champion. Oh, wow. Nice wheel kick there. Could level angles. Moonsault, Ultimo Dragon has some great momentum so far. Angle's got to find some way to fight back. Elbow to the face, though. Oh, he almost knocks Angle out. That might have been even the kick that downed Damian Sandow in record time. Well, record time as far as this universe mode is concerned. Although that past Divas match was pretty quick as well. 
Oh, Ultimo Dragon snaps him down again. Kurt Angle having a bit of trouble getting out of the starting blocks here. He had a good couple of, oh, wow. Big time right hand by Angle. Kurt Angle's definitely not a brawler, but I guess he can adapt, hits the headbutt. Well, Kurt Angle can get intense when he needs to. Ultimo Dragon winning the power struggle, drop kicks Angle back. Angle right back on top of him, no 180 German suplex into the corner. That might be the big move that Angle needs to retain his advantage. Also that hip toss to take him down. Kurt Angle now going to start going to work on the body. He's got like a body scissors locked in. It's no good though because Ultimo's in the rope so he's going to have to eventually break it up. There he goes. Ultimo Dragon. Oh, nice leapfrog though. He outspeeds Kurt Angle. That could be the advantage that the Ultimo Dragon has in this bout. And if you're Kurt Angle, you've got to slow the match down. Lock in some of those submissions, do a lot of damage to your opponent's body. Nice, modified spine buster by Angle. I don't know, Kurt Angle's definitely not the most powerful guy in the WWE, but he has lifted some heavy superstars in the past. He's, he's able to Angle slam the big show, so take that as you will. But Ultimo Dragon, right back on top of him. Kurt Angle fights out of the submission hold that Ultimo Dragon was about to... But here we go, West Coast pop by Ultimo Dragon. Kurt Angle in trouble as he kicks out, though. Goes for the big right hand. Oh, there's the kick! There's the kick that leveled Damian Sandow, but no, Kurt Angle counters and gets back up. Kurt Angle will not be felled by the same trick, it seems. Here's a German suplex by Angle. Keeps the arms hooked, and here's the second one. Here comes the third, and wham, there it is. Kurt Angle suddenly building huge momentum. Triple German suplexes to counter the huge kick that Ultimo Dragon used. No, but Ultimo Dragon with a quick, quick kick out. Angle with a shoulder takedown though. Stays on top of him. Angle now locking in the submission hold. Submission hold locked in. Another body scissors, but Angle also has the arm torqued behind him there. Ultimo Dragon is in trouble. But wait, Ultimo Dragon trying to will his way out of it. He manages to flip Angle over. And get out of that one, Kurt Angle. Coming out of nowhere, here we go. Oh, nice float over DDT. Remember, Kurt Angle has had neck problems in the past. He was bloodied at the hands of the Miz last week, so this could be it. Ultimo Dragon now, the Dragon Sleeper stretching in the Dragon Sleeper. Here we go, Kurt Angle now could be the one to tap out. Oh man, imagine if Kurt Angle submits to the Dragon Sleeper. He's not going anywhere so far, he's in a lot of trouble. Oh no, Angle survives it. Good kicks there by Ultimo Dragon. Hooks in the full Nelson now. Full Nelson again trying to make Angle submit. And unlike the tag team match we had earlier, there's no one who can break Angle out of it except himself, and he does so. Angle somehow countering out of it. Wait a minute. Counters into the Angle Slam. Angle Slam out of nowhere. Kurt Angle into the cover. Could this be it for Ultimo Dragon? One, two, and three. That's it. Angle gets him. Wow. Kurt Angle countering the Dragon Sleeper. Fights out of the full Nelson and spins him around to connect with the angle slam. I did not expect that to finish it, actually. Wow. No need for the ankle lock, it seems. So Kurt Angle was down for the first half of that match and then came back to win it. Good match, though, as the Ultimo Dragon had him down quite a few times. Even had the Dragon Sleeper locked in at one point, but Kurt Angle with the patented angle slam and that was all he needed to put Ultimo Dragon down for the one, two, three. Ah, you gotta bet these guys respect each other after that one. But I wonder if after taking the loss to Kurt Angle, will Ultimo Dragon still show respect for Kurt Angle? As Kurt Angle builds some major momentum on his return here to the UDF era. Where do these two go now? I don't know, maybe rematch? Can we think rematch perhaps? That was a good even contest. I don't know, Kurt Angle taking the huge win here at SummerSlam. And now let's head over to our main event of the evening. Because this one, this is the biggie as far as Friday Night SmackDown is concerned. The World Heavyweight Championship on the line as the longest reigning champion of anything in the UDF era. Wade Barrett, longest reigning champion, has to defend against the best in the world, CM Punk. It is our SummerSlam Day 1 main event. And here is uh, Justin Roberts with the introductions that you cannot hear. Isn't that great? I wish there was a way you could separate 
like the announcers, like uh, I don't know, uh, like the Justin Roberts stuff from like the King and Cole commentary, because then we could have like one, but not necessarily the other. It'd be kind of cool. Here comes the World Heavyweight Champion. What mood is Wade Barrett in after having I don't know, not. I guess he and Layla didn't really have a breakup, but they had kind of a problem. Layla more or less pointing out over the past couple weeks that Wade Barrett has just kind of used his money and influence to keep CM Punk at bay. I mean, he had Mark Henry in the way of CM Punk. He had the Shield in the way of CM Punk. I guess even inadvertently, the Brothers of Destruction served as a roadblock for Punk trying to get to Wade Barrett. And Layla just telling him, you know, Wade Barrett, you've got to do this thing on your own at some point. I can't be in your corner. I have to defend my title. So Wade Barrett, but Wade Barrett also seeming to have uh, an interesting epiphany at the end of Superstars this past week. Suddenly saying, you know, pretty much screw the shield, screw the money. I'm going to beat Punk with my fists. Remember, Wade Barrett is a brawler from England. I don't know, does... Is Wade Barrett maybe trying to psych himself up here and retain his title against Punk through what he knows best, and that's fighting? But here comes the fan favorite of the evening, the number one contender for the world heavyweight title, the one and only the best in the world, CM Punk. We'll see CM Punk finally, after about a month and a half of having to go through all these obstacles and getting beat down, at the hands of just about everybody, will he finally be able to overcome it and become the world heavyweight champion? This is his opportunity to finally end Wade Barrett's title reign. You know, the self-proclaimed king versus the self-proclaimed best in the world. CM Punk telling Wade Barrett, you know, Punk realizes he's not a good guy, but he'll tell you straight to your face what he's about to do to you. And he called Wade Barrett a coward and had some other choice words for him on Superstars to describe what he believes to be the behavior of Wade Barrett. And there are going to be no excuses tonight. Wade Barrett has nobody in his corner. CM Punk is certainly going to have nobody in his corner. One fall to a finish. So I guess the only question that remains is can the best in the world be the world heavyweight champion or mayhaps will the legendary reign of Wade Barrett continue will he continue to be able to be called a king in his own right here we go with the title belt presentation Justin Roberts going to introduce the challenger first what is punk now like 218 something from Chicago Illinois of course one CM Punk Fan favorite has the chance to become yet again the world heavyweight champion. He's held the title multiple times in the past. And Wade Barrett, the brawler from England. I can't remember if it's Manchester. I think it's Manchester for him and Blackpool for someone else. We'll say Manchester, England for Wade Barrett, the world heavyweight champion. There he is, strutting his stuff again. For how much longer will Barrett have that title? Handing it over to the referee. The title belt presentation. Punk knows what it's about. Wade Barrett knows what it's about. Barrett's coming packed with his fist. CM Punk is coming packed with himself. Okay, finally, here it is, World Heavyweight title on the line. CM Punk and Wade Barrett try to cut each other off at the pass to start things off. You know, Wade Barrett, the brawler from England, had to scrounge his way through the streets of England just fighting people for money. And then he finally gets his big-time opportunity to come to the WWE, becomes the World Heavyweight Champion, and now calls himself a king. Meanwhile, you have CM Punk, who's been a wrestling fan all his life, finally got the chance to break into the big leagues thanks to Paul Heyman, and knows what it's like to taste the glory of the World Heavyweight title. But now, which one of these two men will walk out of SummerSlam with the World Heavyweight Championship? Wade Barrett stacks Punk up. Nice snap suplex by the World Champion. Again, Wade Barrett almost kind of having a revelation as to what he should have been doing all along which was fighting people with his fists instead of his money. Is it too little too late for Wade Barrett to have that revelation, though? Is CM Punk going to come to become the best in the world once again? Because, I mean, hey, if you're the world champion, what stops you from calling yourself the best in the world, huh? But so far, CM Punk, nice springboard. Oh, goes for the drop kick. Wade Barrett chops him down. This one's going to be a great back and forth. I can already sense it. 
These two know each other so well. They've encountered each other many times in the past. Maybe not necessarily in the ring, but look at this. Punk catches Barrett's foot off the corner. Wade Barrett tried to seal Punk's fate with that huge running boot we've seen him do in the past. But CM Punk said it was not meant to be yet, but Wade Barrett launches this belly-to-belly -belly suplex. That's what he will hit. Wade Barrett has Punk stunned for now. Springboard, though, catches Barrett off guard with a drop kick. I think Wade Barrett was spending too much time calculating his next move. But Wade Barrett right back on top of him. I don't know. Stacks Punk up. No! Punk counters with the Tornado DDT. Barrett was going for that spine buster we see, we see him do. Instead, Punk ends up with the advantage. And now what's Punk doing? He's got the Tarantula. Here comes the Tarantula. It's an illegal maneuver, so he's got to break it. But he does some good damage to Barrett. Another... Oh, man. Wade Barrett counters. But now Punk chops him down. Stuns Barrett with a good blow to the face. Oh, a nice back kick to the side of the head. Probably doesn't make sense, but whatever. Wade Barrett dumping Punk off the top rope. Goes for the kick to the midsection. CM Punk counters again the springboards. Oh, I thought he was going to go for another maneuver, but instead opts for the scoop slam. Off the ropes as Punk hits a leg drop. Into a cover is CM Punk. Oh, Wade Barrett not even giving it the time of day. Imagine if Barrett had been pinned right there by the best in the world, CM Punk. Oh, who knocks Barrett to the outside of the ring? And here we go. CM Punk now. Oh, big time clothesline by Barrett, though. I think CM Punk was going to try to take the fight to the outside, similar to what he and Dean Ambrose did at Blitzkrieg. But Wade Barrett tried to chop him down, and now Punk has Barrett where he wants him, sees that he's stunned. CM Punk trying to position him perfectly. Nice elbow to the face. Wade Barrett, though, catches him. Oh, knocks Punk over the top rope. Talk about fair play for Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett now has Punk where he wants him. Maybe senses that Punk's a little weakened after that blow to the head and now drops the elbow across the back. Wade Barrett with a calculated attack on CM Punk right now. Oh, goes for the right hand, but Punk counters. Maybe Punk playing a bit of possum there. Whips him into the corner. Could be looking for the running knees. Hits the running knees, does CM Punk. One of his favorite maneuvers. Kind of a variant on his favorite maneuver, rather. Wade Barrett now. These guys are just going to be all business. There is nothing else left to say. They just have to go at it. Wade Barrett may be trying to bloody Punk with those right hands. If he can do that, get Punk to lose some blood in this match, he'll be dazed and unable to continue. And now the left hands by Barrett. Maybe ambidextrous as far as fighting is concerned. I don't know too much about Wade Barrett's fighting background other than he's done it. Punk fights back, though. Strike to the face instead. Float over DDT by Punk. Catching Barrett off guard. And now CM Punk going to stretch out the arm. Maybe try to hyperextend it a bit so Wade Barrett will have to think twice before throwing those lefts and rights all over the place. Wade Barrett now hooked up in the ropes, and he dumps Punk over again. Oh, my God! Big time right hand. And now here comes Barrett. He senses blood. He's on the attack, stomping away on Punk on the outside. But CM Punk gets the running drop kick to get the advantage a second time. The referee giving these guys a 10 count. You don't want a world title match to end on a count out. That would be a blunder. But I guess these guys, are, they feel it's a bit more personal than just wrestling in the ring. Look at Punk. Here we go. Oh, God. Neck breaker on the outside. Wade Barrett might pay for sending Punk to the outside this time. Oh, no, but Barrett sends him into the ring. I thought he was going for the steps, but Barrett is just looking to break the count. Interesting there. I would almost think Barrett would take a count-out victory. Kind of uncharacteristic of Wade Barrett. Maybe he really does want to just prove that he can outfight Punk here tonight. CM Punk with a kick to the midsection, though. Again, it goes back to the float over DDT. It'll buy him some time. So if he took any bad damage on the outside, he can rest up a bit. Again, maybe going back to hyperextending the arm. We saw Barrett. He was going after Punk's back a little earlier. That would ruin his balance for the go-to-sleep. Oh, my God. Barrett just throws Punk like he's nothing. I guess that's the power of Wade Barrett. Now goes after the leg, slamming his knee into the mat. That's some good damage there. Wade Barrett punching him in the sternum now. Wade Barrett, black hole slam out of nowhere. Black hole slam. That's one of Barrett's favorite moves, and it could be enough to put Punk away right here. Wade Barrett's going to retain the title. No, Punk right at two kicks out. But man, that was a close call for CM Punk. CM Punk now, oh, again, fights back from Wade Barrett. 
Gets him back into the ring, and now Punk scoop slams him. That was a fast scoop slam. Maybe going for the leg drop a second time does so. Oh, hey, into a cover. No, Wade Barrett, quick kick out. Again, does not want to give Punk the time, but man, he's CM Punk suckered him into the go to sleep. CM Punk connects with the go to sleep. Do we have a new world champion? New world champion incoming. CM Punk into a cover. One, two, and that's it. No, it's not it. Wade Barrett with his shoulder up. Are you kidding me? How did Wade Barrett kick out of the go to sleep? Even CM Punk can't believe that one. But he goes right back to work. CM Punk can't be too distracted by that. He's got to keep doing damage. Oh, Barrett with a rake to the eyes. I'm not too sure if that's as legitimate as Barrett wants to be here, but a belly to belly. Wade Barrett gets back on top of him now. Oh, but CM Punk rolling through, punches him back. Maybe he looks for a second. Go to sleep. Go to sleep again! CM Punk! He's got him up again for the go to sleep. Oh, my God. Wade Barrett is down. One, two, new champ. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wade Barrett kicked out of a second go to sleep. How the heck did he do that? That one was closer than the first. CM Punk with another cover now. Wade Barrett kicks out a third time. I thought that was it. CM Punk. Oh, a spine buster by Barrett. Maybe that's the momentum he needs to put Punk away. How did Wade Barrett kick out of two, go to sleep, so they were almost one after the other? CM Punk now, whipping Barrett into the rubs, hits the standing drop kick. Another one. Wade Barrett goes for the clothesline, misses, swinging neckbreaker by Punk. CM Punk is trying to put away the world champion. Here's the flying, oh man, Wade Barrett avoids the elbow drop, but CM Punk catches him off the suplex. Barrett counter now chops him down. Punk fights back again. Kick to the midsection by Punk. Wade Barrett counters. Elbow to the face. Who's got the... I don't even... Well, CM Punk should have had the advantage off the go to sleep. A third! No! Wade Barrett counters with an inverted DDT. CM Punk did not get... He's looking for the bull hammer. He's looking for the bull hammer. Here we go! Bull hammer connects! Wade Barrett knocks CM Punk out. CM Punk is done. Wade Barrett's gonna prove the naysayers wrong. Goes for the cover. No! Punk kicks out! What the heck? Are you kidding me? Wade Barrett hooks him up. Back suplex. Who will be the world champion? Can I scream in your ear anymore? Find out all these answers right now. CM Punk hooks the advantage. He counted. Oh, Wade Barrett throws him away, though. Barrett has survived the go to sleep. CM Punk has survived the bull hammer. CM Punk... Clenches in, a Cobra clutch. Is this it for Barrett? Barrett has to submit! Barrett taps out! Barrett taps out! CM Punk is the new world heavyweight champion. What a match. Oh, he survived the black hole slam too, that's right. CM Punk and Wade Barrett played all the cards against each other. But it was not meant to be for Wade Barrett. He tried proving the naysayers wrong. He kicked out of two, two go to sleeps. CM Punk kicked out of the bull hammer and the black hole slam and Punk had to resort to the submission hold. The clutch and Wade Barrett submits your new world heavyweight champion. CM Punk can now confidently say he is the best in the world. Thanks for watching, everyone. And this was just day one of SummerSlam. We have day two for you coming up. Christian versus Edge. The National Gladiator title match. Backstage brawl between the Great Khali and Mick Foley. And, of course, the Elimination Chamber. The WWE title on the line. CM Punk collects all the glory tonight. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching again.